game on! Get ready for some fun, easy VBS decorations. So number one, it's Vacation Bible School, so you're probably going to have the kids memorize verses. So we made these really simple verse posters. We started by printing out the verses in large font on a regular piece of paper. Then we just cut out around them, get some glue, and glue them onto the poster board. And you get these awesome looking verse posters to help kids memorize their verses for the week. And then you can just hang them up in the classroom or wherever they need to go. Idea number two. This one is a DIY chalkboard. Now we made ours to look like a baseball scoreboard and the trick is using a paint that has a gloss finish that can be wiped off with a damp cloth because you'll be able to write on it with chalk and then just wipe it away with a damp cloth. To make this, we took a roll of butcher paper and covered a movable whiteboard with the butcher paper and we painted the butcher paper with a gloss finish paint and then we just added some details like the words and the innings. This third project here is a way to make really easy cutouts to put on the wall. So I'm using a Mac, so I just found some images and then I opened it up in preview. And I like doing it in preview because you can adjust the sizing really easily. So I have a projector set up and I have those images projecting onto a piece of poster board and then I traced them out with a Sharpie. Once I traced them out, I went ahead and painted them and after painting them, I retraced the lines just so that way those edges are super crisp. I'll also show you another trick with the basketball. I first go ahead and paint it with my orange paint and then I take a sponge brush to give it some texture, just go up and down. So here's the ones that I made and just let the paint dry once you've finished retracing them. And then it's just a matter of cutting out your pieces of paper and then putting them on the wall. I love this idea because it's super easy and it works for just about any VBS theme, even if you're not doing sports. Just think of things that make sense for your theme and trace them out. The fourth project is to make a hanging banner. So this one we need to say concessions for our snack area. So I took a normal piece of poster board and I divided it into eights. Just use my ruler and a straight edge to divide it into eight equal sections and then cut it out. If you wanna get extra fancy, you can use a paper slicer to speed up the process and to make sure all your papers are similar in size. So once I get my pieces of paper cut out, I'm going to cut a triangle out of the bottom. So I'm measuring three inches up from the bottom and then I'm going to make sure I have it in the center. So when I divided my poster board into eight sections, they were seven inches wide. So I just made that middle point of the triangle and I'm just gonna trace from that point I made to the bottom corners. And I'm gonna do that on each side. But what's nice is once you do the first one, you don't have to keep tracing because I'm going to cut out that bottom triangle and then I'm going to use that triangle as a template for all of my other ones. So once you get the first one made, it goes a lot faster. So I've got my cool pennant pieces here and then I'm just gonna, with a Sharpie, go ahead and freehand some letters on there or you could use stencils. Just using the Sharpie once more, go ahead and fill them in with a thick, chunky Sharpie once I was done making my pennant, I punched two holes in the top and ran some string through them and then used command hooks to hang up my banner. Our fifth and final project is to use a tablecloth to make banners. So as you can see, I took it out of the packaging, but I left it folded up really long and then I folded it in half long ways. And I'm just going to cut along that fold there and set one half off to the side. So I've opened my first half of the tablecloth and the one side is still folded in half. So I'm going to cut along the folded side and basically I'm gonna end up with a fourth of a tablecloth. But I'm gonna do two of them at a time. So as you can see here, I don't have any folds left. Now I'm going to fold the whole thing in half one more time and I'm gonna find the corner that is still folded. So not this corner, but this corner that's still folded and cut from the fold corner up to the other side to create my pennant. If you wanna change up how your pennant looks, you can cut from the side that doesn't have the fold and cut inward and that would just give a different look. But then once I cut out that triangle, I'm going to open it up and now I have two pennants. And I'm going to have another half of a tablecloth left over that I can repeat the same process with. So from one tablecloth, you can get four of these pennants. There's my other half I've gotta finish up with. If you wanna take your tablecloths to the next level, you can paint them and add phrases, whatever's appropriate for your VBS theme. You can also use the tablecloth idea to make a jumbo pennant. So I went ahead and took one, folded it in half, and cut out the bottom triangle like I did for the concession sign. 
There you can see I have the giant one hanging on the wall. I forgot to get footage of this, but the smaller pennants I hung from the ceiling. Here's some bonus ideas. You can take a round tablecloth and then use streamers and double-sided tape to make either a baseball or a basketball really easily on the wall. Another cool idea, if you have a coat rack but don't know what to do with it, hang up jerseys and sports equipment. Here's an idea that I absolutely love. Using the projector, you trace out some silhouettes, put them on top of bright colored tablecloths, and they look super cool and are super easy to put up and take down. For our main auditorium, we used a sports stadium theme backdrop that we have hanging there. We also had some lights for stadium lights. Great way to help set the stage is to just get two normal wooden picnic benches and then cover them in sports equipment. Things like coolers, baseball bats, cheerleader pom-poms. They all look awesome. We also added a piece of green carpet just to help set the stage and add to the outdoor sports feel. Don't know how this happened.